Good morning, everybody. Um, got starting off like Bill now. He does what he says. Good morning, everybody. Um, <laughs> well, oh, after a very late night drive home from my friends, check out my previous YouTube videos. Um, I woke up this morning. Finally, put my computer all back together again because I went to a LAN party. That's why I went. And I realised I left some things at <laughs> my friend's house. So I've got I've got to go back to his place sometime soon and pick up my uh, computer parts I left there. Um, I've been I, I mean I I woke up like six o'clock this morning and I was doing a little bit of YouTube surfing and I uh, came across a uh, hot phone video that Serena Hart did and told me to go check out a guy called Ripper. So I checked out Ripper's page and it, he's got the right idea about a uh, car battery charger. Thinking to myself, oh my god, you know, it's a little bit too more on the voltage right there. So, because I do nitro powered RCs, sorry, I uh, have a trickle charger for the big stick battery packs. And um, I'm going to look at seeing if I can't use those for the foam cutter um but i'm going to make mine um detachable with uh jacks instead of the the gator grip style clip things um on the wire i looked at the video and uh, i'm assuming it's probably a, a bass guitar wire that he's using not a regular wire wire he's using however there is wire you can get i'm using this stuff when I make mine, I use 9 volt batteries and just little piece of wire and cut. Puppies! Shush! Sorry about that. I've got two new puppies and they like to fight and play and make noises and that's probably what you're hearing. And I'm going to kill them one day, I swear. No, I'm just kidding. I never hurt animals. Um, but when I was there, I saw a few videos about uh, water cooling so I got to flip up my butt about making a water cooling block I've got the radiator I've got the reservoir and the pump already from my old fish tank so I, I adapted the pump I'll be doing a video on the pump later but this is the block I took my old original uh, stock quote unquote Intel cooler that had a copper flat copper base and I tore it apart and um, Lo and behold, I mean, this thing is heavy. I mean, copper cap, you know, not so heavy, but this son of a gun weighs a good, you know, when it was, I mean, I've cut it down recent since then, but it was like that friggin' thick, and it, it weighed a ton. I mean, it was like, that was the only weight to the cooler was the copper core. And a friend of mine, um, Raymond, he said, well, why don't you just cut it down, save on weight, and then use the thicker core section here uh, for the fins and I'm like that's not a bad idea so that's what I'm going to be doing today I've got my safety glasses always wear your safety glasses thank you Norm and um, I've got some uh, really high density cutting discs for my Dremel so I'll, I'll probably be doing that today instead of making any models or anything this is probably going to be the only YouTube video I managed to do today um, if I do manage to make any more later on today, I'll be amazed because <laughs> this is going to take me for absolutely forever because I've got to cut it, let it cool, cut it, let it cool, cut it, let it cool because if you keep cutting on, on copper, it will expand and contract and, and warp, especially where I'm cutting really uh, thin thins, thin thins, and um, I really want to make sure that it's the, the cuts are precise because I've got a water block design that goes in an inverted V shape that will um, act somewhat like a, a muffler and move so I have semi pressure when it hits the block then high pressure when it leaves the block so it goes to the reservoir faster pump can move it quicker hopefully end result cool attempts but I'm seeing on this but that's the block regular copper block you can see where I've got my sharpie and I've got my baselines 
see really nice flat smooth surface I'm going to be lapping this I'm going to be doing a tutorial on lapping um, for those who don't know what lapping is lapping is where you take a uh, some sandpaper going from 200 grit all the way up to 2000 grit sandpaper and you have a flat surface a true flat surface like a piece of glass I've got one in the living room you lay it down on your table you take your sandpaper, you lay it down. Some people uh, use wet dry sandpaper, some people use regular sandpaper and just you know have a spray bottle on hand and they just slowly circle the item until it gets to a mirror like polish and that will drop your temps anywhere between four degrees to six degrees. Regular inch copper cap, I know what you're thinking, a copper cap, yeah, a copper cap. And yeah, sadly my war boss, you know, bit the bullet. It, he uh his arm broke off. And this is the one from the Black Reach. I've just uh, green stuffed the mohawk right here, twisted the head a little. Um, there's one of his orc knobs. Yes, I painted them, so you, if you're probably thinking that's a crap paint job, thanks very much. If you're thinking it's a cool paint job, thanks. <laughs> um, update my Titans. I've got the feet done. I've got partially one of the legs built, I've got to cut the PVC pipe for the joints. Now back to the kit, the block. Um, copper cap, marked it because that's where I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to have the cap this huge. I mean, it's monstrous as it is. I mean, I've got big hands, but this thing looks huge in my hand. So I'm going to cut it down a good half inch so that it sits lower. I'm going to take two... Uh, Copper pipes, make barbs, going in at 45 degree angles, in from the sides, 45, 45, in, out, um, so that way that it will be easy to slip the, uh, the tubes, the cooling tubes on. So, uh, just a small video for you guys, um, hope you enjoy it, and I hope you look forward to my next video. Okay, thank you, bye bye.